Islamic Golden Age. Welcome to our journey through the Islamic Golden Age, an era of remarkable scientific, economic, and cultural flourishing from the 8th to the 14th century. This Golden Age began under the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid, who inaugurated the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, drawing scholars from across the Muslim world to translate classical knowledge into Arabic and Persian. The period traditionally ended with the Mongol invasions and the siege of Baghdad in 1258, although some scholars extend it to the 14th century, including the Timurid Renaissance, or even to the 15th and 16th centuries with the rise of the Islamic gunpowder empires. The term Islamic Golden Age emerged in the 19th century through Orientalist writings, initially applied to the era's most beautiful mosques and rapidly decaying relics of Islamic culture. Definitions of the Golden Age vary, sometimes encompassing the entirety of the Caliphate's duration or focusing on the early Rashidun conquests, highlighting the era's military and scholarly achievements. It was in the late 20th century that the term consistently referred to the cultural and scientific achievements between the 9th and 11th centuries, particularly around the House of Wisdom and before the Crusades. Some argue that the true Golden Age spanned from 750 to 950, citing the decline in Islamic Empire territories and the weakening impact of the Crusades as reasons for an earlier end. The Golden Age saw Muslims striving to acquire and translate ancient Greek sciences, followed by two centuries of original contributions, although academia often describes this as the Age of Decline. The Quran and Hadith greatly emphasized the importance of acquiring knowledge, which inspired Muslims to pursue scientific advancements and educational endeavors. The Islamic Empire's patronage of scholars was immense, with resources equivalent to modern research budgets, and translators like Hunayn Ibn Ishaq earning substantial salaries. Muslims eagerly assimilated scientific knowledge from conquered civilizations, translating works from Greek, Syriac, Middle Persian and Sanskrit into Arabic, preserving many classical texts. Christians, especially Nestorians, contributed significantly by translating Greek works into Syriac and Arabic, excelling in fields like philosophy and medicine, and often serving as personal physicians to the Abbasid Caliphs. Persians also played a crucial role, contributing to various cultural endeavors, including Arabic poetry, and significantly influencing Islamic civilization during this period. The introduction of paper from China revolutionized the spread of information, making book production more accessible and allowing for larger editions than Europe saw for centuries. Education was central to Islamic tradition, with the Quran and Hadith emphasizing learning. This led to relatively high literacy rates and a focus on Quranic exegesis and Islamic jurisprudence. Madrasas, established from the 11th century, formalized higher religious learning, spread Islamic education beyond urban centers, and united diverse communities through shared cultural projects. These institutions, maintained by charitable endowments, primarily focused on law, but also taught theology, medicine, and mathematics, contributing to the era's rich educational landscape.